I shall call him Mini Megs. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Core Class G2 Megatron. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have some lovely arts of G2 Megs. His name is G2 Megs from the G2 Universe Legacy Transformers. On this side, we have the lo the lovely. So my tongue stops working. The lovely legacy artwork on this side we have Max himself he is a core class a class a region a core class a class a nucleo and a class a nucleo up top legacy on the bottom words and things and stuff on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have G2 Megatron, this time in travel size. So yeah, we have a little core class version here of G2 Megs. And, uh, you know, you gotta love that G2 paint scheme. You just gotta love it. It's just so loud and obnoxious, and it's just, it's like me, basically. It's the, it's the me of paint schemes. But anyway, let's get in close here so we can take a look now at his chest, at his noggin. Oh, that's a It's a nice... Face sculpt there, red for the eyes, and of course the lovely G2 paint scheme, that nice neon green and purple. You get some gunmetal gray there for the abs, a little bit of orange in there. Got some purple swim trunks on, and you got orange there on the knees, his feeties, his backies. You got the treads hanging out back there, but overall, nice and g 2 y Now, articulation wise, the head. Can just rotate. The arms can rotate, but of course the shoulder pads get in the way. So you can get forward about that far. Back, you can get back about that far. Yeah, outward movement. Your elbows are on a ball joint. So you have about 90 degrees of bend and you have rotation there. Um, on this side, the wrist does rotate, but that's more for transformation. You have waist rotation. Legs. And go forward that far, back that far, outward that far. The knees run a ball joints. So there's your rotation, 90 degrees of bend, and the feet don't do anything. They are just molded into place. And as far as accessories go, you do have the little gun here. Basically, it's it's a tiny little him in gun mode, which you can hold if you want. And you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, as if the big boom 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 isn't enough. But hey, things you can do if you want to do it. And if you want, you can also just peg it right back here to give him that barrel that sticks up over his shoulder. Make him look a little bit more megsy. But as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. And yes, this little megs is bluish compatible. That's right, he is bluish compatible. Just plug this into his fusion cannon. Like so, we can't really support the weight of it, but hey, it's a thing you can do. We can do a big old G2. Bloosh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with the original version of the mold. So you can see how that works out. And I like this mold, honestly. This is a solid little mix here. And here he is with uh, Big Papa G2 Megs. So you can see how that works out. Oh, Big Megs, Baby Megs. It's precious. It's precious. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So just want to remove gun here put that off to the side for now so what we're going to do is we're going to take the forms here and just rotate them 180 like so on this side you're just rotating the hand which in turn will bring this panel around so that is sitting like that uh what you want to do next is you want to take this whole backpack section here just bring it up and over like so then you want to bring the shoulders and everything back and this will just peg in to the cannon like so. Oh, you also want to rotate the cannon 180 like that. And you have tabs and slots right here that the forearms will drop into to lock those in place. Then you want to rotate him at the waist. You're then going to 
and clip this section of his leg like so. Then you're going to bend it at this hinge. And there is a no, nope, as usual, cat here not included. Get out of here. But there's a little tab slot connection right there. Just snap that in, like so. And second verse is like the first. Just bring that out. Bring up that hinge and just snap that in. Snap it, like so. And just bring this up. And these sections here will just tab in to those hooks right there. And get it all nice and squozing. And the last thing to do is to just bring in the little mini megs, the minier megs, and plug it into the fusion cannon. And there you go. There we have little G2 megs in his tank mode. Good little spin you can get of him. Yes, there he is in his tank mode. Again, a solid little tank mode. I wish the the, you know, the, the, the cannon wasn't just a little gun sticking out of there. I wish it looked more like a cannon, but eh, well, it is what it is. But overall, not a bad little tank mode for being a core class figure. I can work with it. But let's get in close. Yes, we can take a look at the details. Of course, all the details that were present on the original version of the mold. But in that nice G2 color scheme, we do have a G2 Decepticon symbol there on the side. Well, pretty nice. Of course, his feet are just kind of hanging out back there. But again, it's a core class figure. But then again, the Voyager class also has feet hanging out in the back. So, eh, whatever. But there is the top. There is the bottom. Visible hair syndrome. Visible a lot syndrome. Um, there are no wheels or anything, but he slides. He slides. He slides. His tanks should slide. Hooray for sliding, drifting tanks. Yay. Then, for comparison, uh, here he is again with the original version of the mold. You can see how that works out. And again, here he is with Big Daddy G2 Megs. So you can see father and son together. Oh, again, precious. Precious! So there you go. So there you have a G2 Megs. Yeah, nice little mini Megs. I do quite like the mold. I think it works very well, honestly. I wish the tank mode had a proper cannon instead of just a gun plugged onto the end of it, but otherwise, it's a nice, solid little figure. Some fun, solid G2-y goodness, so. There you go! Now I picked this up from agabus.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also get legacy figures from bigbadtoystore.com, as always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Legacy Core Class G2 Megatron. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Palm in your face. So, um, still nothing unusual going on? Nope. Not even with what you're wearing. I am a fashion icon. I always have been and I always will be. Thank you very much. Wave.